and welcome back. We've got very quick turnarounds when it comes to these matches. I mean, we just get one after another. And uh, this is the third, fourth place match between David the Dude and Ace 101. So, David the Dude, we were with him before. He's the Winnebago seventh seed, and Ace 101 is from Lu uh, another Louisville player who is the fifth seed in this tournament. So, congratulations to both of these players, and uh, we're going to see them both going forward now to fight for third place in state. Able to throw out a quick charge character there before Ace is even able to throw any sort of health onto himself. Going to throw a Rokara out there and also be able to attack David the Dude right on. So both sides coming out swinging and going to use Demon Claw to add a plus one to attack able to hit Ace at least for one more, so three damage here pretty, pretty early on to Ace, but he is going to go ahead and give himself a weapon. And, in fact, a little bit of corruption there, going to get some more damage onto his Korra. So throws some damage down onto David the Dude here kind of early. He'll use the coin to gain one mana this turn and give himself this four mana card. And with that, he's able to summon two more characters, the assistance per uh, performer assistant, which are taunt cards, so giving himself a pretty decent front line now suddenly as well. The armor vendor coming out, give four shield to each hero. So not only does that give four shield to Ace, but it also will give shield to David the Dude. So interesting play from him right now. Also has the shielding on the side of Ace as well. So he's able to give himself two shield for two mana each turn. That's going to be David the Dude using the Claw, so he'll hit Ace for some damage, but of course that shield's going to keep him pretty healthy at the moment. But he does it, get it whittled down to one. Five mana now. He's going to do a quick attack onto the last performing assi uh, ass performer's assistant. Sorry, I'm trying to pronounce that. And uh, with the Tent Thrasher, um, he's able to chuck that guy out there. It's nine damage, so a pretty big unit on the board here. David the Dude is going to have to find a way to take it off the field pretty quickly here, I would assume. He's considering giving his hero plus three attack this turn. And actually going, yep, yeah, he will be attacking the front line from Ace, not allowing that minion to stay out on the board as it probably would have done a lot of damage to him this very next turn. There is another Tent Thrasher in Ace's pocket, and he's going to hold on to that one for now as he picks up Ringmaster's Baton. He's going to gain his armor. Sends a quick attack across the way to David the Dude, putting him down to 20 health. Trying to slowly whittle away at what David the Dude has health-wise. He will summon the Raisin Fern, Beastmaster. And send some damage across as he'll get at least another attack there. Yeah, so 20 health to 21 health, both sides trading blows. Tent Thrasher now going down again. This will be a second one that he had kind of both of them sitting in his pocket there for a little bit. Now he's trying to think about what his next move will be. Since he's able to move immediately, he will go ahead and attack 
One of the front lines from David the Dude. And now Kane Sun Fury coming out on the board. Damage going down onto Ace now. Going to start sort of pouring in here. Minus three there. Going to get minus four from this attack. And a nice weapon usage there by David the Dude. As he will be ahead only by four health at the moment. Ace is going to play the Sword Eater. Good taunt character. And he's going to use Nitro Boost to give that minion... Plus two attack, as well as grant that to himself. He's just cutting class to give himself some more cards, and does two damage to a minion and gains two armor. So actually a pretty uh, big play there from Ace. We'll see if it's enough to turn things in his favor. He's going to take an attack directly onto Ace. Ace was able to build up enough armor, though, to sustain most of the damage. Now David the Dude with a four shield on his own side. Quick attack there from Ace. And big damage coming through as he ends up getting... A little bit more damage. So this one is going to be very close here. That speaker does get summoned. And it'll summon three other minions as well. This is actually very important. There's two more taunt heroes on the side of David the Dude. Three in total for him now. So he may have just shored up a very good... may have just short up for himself a really good look at defending himself now luckily there ace is able to get a taunt character for himself gets the brute we'll see what he's able to put out next as he wants to try to get circus um uh circus out there as well as it will also be another taunt character for him to defend with David the Dude able to cut through his defense for now. Attack his life points directly, but it does just crack the shield that Ace was able to amass for himself. So now, we'll see what he decides to use. Use uh, shield, or sorry, he uses the Circus Amalgamation and is able to get a couple hits now onto... David the Dude's hand as well. Damage coming through from David the Dude, but he takes four damage in return. Might be in kind of a dangerous situation here as Ace is able to hit him directly. Four damage, five. This will make six when he gets off his next attack. So no health left for David the Dude. He does the draw three cards and reduces some other things by two. Coordinated Strike comes in. So does Battle Fiend. He needs to work hard to try and take out as much of the front line from Ace as he can and hit damage onto Ace himself. Because otherwise, I believe Ace just wins in this next turn. Never mind, I think Ace is just going to win right now because of that attack from David the Dude onto one of Ace's characters, and that's going to be victory for Ace. The player from... Louisville. So Ace able to pull that one out and 
David the Dude is going to have to rethink a little bit of his strategy going into this next one. So he wasn't able to get it. We'll be right back here in just one second with the next match. And here we are. So Ace was able to take the last one. David the Dude now choosing a Druid, and Ace is going to be choosing Shaman for his own side. He's going to have a Shapeshift, as is a Power, so it gets one attack this turn and one armor. Meanwhile, Totem Call for Ace and his Shaman will be able to power up his minions as the fight goes on. Draw and overload card is what he gets there. So Ace now with a couple different options here when it comes to his turn. So we'll see now that he will lay the novice zapper. Investment opportunity and draws another overload card. He'll get lightning bolt. David the Dude thinks about giving Feral Rage, giving himself plus four damage, and he'll be able to hit it down onto Ace. Now Ace, of course, has a quest that he's trying to do. He has to play three cards with Overlord to overload to unlock uh, his overloaded mana crystal. So he is trying to put down those overload characters and work to get towards that goal of completing the first part of his quest. Overlord, overload Storm Strike comes through, is able to take that minion off the board and Ace able to hit a direct hit onto David the Dude and ends up clearing the board with that one. So now Mark of the Wild coming through, making that character a taunt character. He's going to use light. Uh, Ace is going to use Lightning Bolt to try and whittle down that character, and he does get Finish Command the Elements. So he gets an overloaded crystal for now. His next reward will be summon a 3-3 three, three, uh, elemental with taunt. So that's going to be a very important quest for him to start working towards. As things get going. He's able to clear off or do some more damage to David the Turtles. Or David the Dude. And that taunt character does get that totem laid down, which adds additional damage each turn that passes to one of Ace's characters on the board. So it might be kind of important for David the Dude to take it out. That's going to be pretty decent damage across the board because it's minus three so two of David the Dude's front lines are taken out and these two totems we have a healing totem and we have a totem of strength out on the board so the healing totem brings Ace back up to full health and the other totem is going to apply damage but David the Dude says nope we're not going to have any of that here David the Dude puts down the shield on himself and gives himself one damage and attacks the totem directly. And he'll have those turtles coming out, the taunt turtles here. Our golden shell turtle. And he's able to get three damage down on the, each of those turtles as well as finishing his quest here, summoning a 3-3 
minion for himself. He'll even throw down another totem. It'll be a totem of strength again. Adding some attack to that. Or does he end up drawing a living earth elemental? He's able to hit, uh, throw down the High Inquisitor here. And put... And is, that summons even more gold shell turtles. So the serpent shrine portal will deal some damage onto David the Druid's side. And now here we are. He's taking a look at what his next objective is in his quest, and we'll take a look at it too once he moves off this. He's got to play three cards with Overlord, and he gets Stormcaller Bruken. It's a pretty decent card there, as you can see. So now he's thinking about what he's going to play next. Mattis Bomber or Morgan Forge Fiend. He will end up picking up Mattis Bomber, which will deal 12 damage randomly split amongst each character. He's got to decide what he's going to do now. He does end his turn, giving it back over to David the Dude. He does lay out this Runaway Blackwing with, at the end of your turn, deals 9 damage to a random enemy minion. And now he's going to start unleashing damage onto Ace himself. Hits him for a little bit of damage here right off the bat. That random damage from this dragon hitting on the mat. Mattis Bomber still out here. And a flame elemental going to be awarded to Ace as he did finish his quest line. So... A very good move there. Able to get rid of the defensive units, or just units in general, out of Dave the Druid. Gets two damage onto him. And he will be ending his turn, giving Canal Slogger another, yet another. Uh, damage from that totem. Yet again, we're going to see a... or Sorry, we're going to see a Spell Weaver on the board. David the Dude using two of his minions to try and whittle down piece by piece Ace... But Ace does get summon the Spirit Wolves, which are no pushover in that taunt position. Able to do health damage directly to David the Dude himself. We're going to see what David the Dude can do here. He will pop Mark of the Wild, which does give health and the uh, taunt ability over to Spellweaver here, which is huge, making him a very big frontline tank. We'll see if Ace is able to counter that in any way. Getting 7 damage off twice there, and he's able to take out... David the Druid's bigger weapon there. Ace is able to hit some damage onto him regardless of all that. So really, Ace with an opportunity here. Puts down Power of the Wild. As well as Death Row.
We'll see Ace now has a weapon in his hand to see if he'll be able to do anything with that. Does summon another totem. Will be the healing totem this time. So we'll heal someone randomly at the end of each turn. He does quite a bit of damage, and in fact, that'll be enough as Ace actually finishes off David the Dude there. Wasn't quite expecting all that damage to come out of him. He does take out the uh, Taunt Hero and then is able to finish off David the Dude.